chapter one, when your life begins to go with you, there's, there's going to be some time in a man's life when he's going to fall off the path. There's going to be a crisis. There are crisis points in the fellow's lives. Usually when they're anywhere from 15 to, let's say, 25, there's an identity crisis. Of course, the mother of all crises is the midlife crisis, which comes at around the age of 40. After the age of 40, there's an existential crisis where a man is trying to figure out, usually in his late 50s, 60s, the meaning of his life. The second chapter, the father gap, the wound that just won't heal. Most men carry a wound that's delivered by their fathers. It's unavoidable. It's a, a father is going to wound his children in some way. It's mythic, if you will. Fathers can wound you know, their children by not being available to them. They can wound them by not admiring them, by not talking to them, by not seeing who they are. They can wound them by shaming them. They can wound them, you know, by just being heavy-handed and crushing their spirit. But many young fellows, many fellows grow up, even, even men that have lived whole lives, that still have wounds that haven't been healed. It's so common to find someone that says, you know, my, I don't know whether my father really loved me or not. My father never told me he loved me. Or my father never hugged me, never caressed me, or never, never even touched me. And so, what has to blessing on? There are many princes in the world that will, that, that, that will not become kings. They grew up in a time when there were no kings to bless them and teach them what it meant to be a man and what it took how to get from being a prince to become a father, a husband, a mind of a man. So that's really central to the work that we do, is how we tell us to heal that father. Chapter 3, Why Men Fall for Dangerous Relationships. Sort of a double entendre, if you will. Because men will fall for a woman, and fall in love you know, with a woman, but they will also, women, there's often, you know, times when a woman will come into a man's life and perhaps even unwittingly collude with him to bring about his downfall. Men will find a way into trouble often in a relationship with a woman. Again, because a man doesn't have other men in his life, or doesn't know, you know what it means to be a man, doesn't have boundaries and limits, doesn't know how to ground himself, gets involved with a woman. Uh, Sam Keen in his book, Fire in the Belly, said, know where you're going and who's going with you and don't get those reversed. Mm -hmm. Many men do get those reversed. They get onto a woman's path mm -hmm. and they go off with her. And they get far away from the journey where they were headed, you know, the goal in their own life, and they don't even know what that was. And then they wind up in trouble. Chapter 4, Shoulder to Shoulder, is that men need the company of other men. They need the brotherhood of man in order to get what they need for themselves as individuals. Men also tend to learn well in, in doing that learning process shoulder to shoulder, not necessarily even eyeball to eyeball. Of course, you know, women like to look into a man's eyes. A lot of times men feel very uncomfortable. Sometimes it's easier for a fella to really talk when he's out uh, waxing the car with somebody or taking a walk. And uh, so shoulder to shoulder essentially means find other men in your life. Join a small group, a tribe of men. Uh, join a community of men men of all ages, talk from your heart, understand what it means to deal with life at various ages from the men who have already